wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Sweden. Which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, I'm Eric Laporte. He's a centre-back who's one of the best in the business when it comes to, to playing out from defence. He can spark quick counter-attacks or, or put his foot on the ball and, and retain it when a breather is needed. He's a very solid defender too. And opposition forwards, they're not going to get much change out of this guy. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. So it's away we go then. Laporte. Coquet. And it's played forward. Morata unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. He scored! What a start. And what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something given his reputation, but. To do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. And that is stunning. Just too hot to handle. Is it just me or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plump. Spain have an early lead. Good start. Lindelof. He certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. Isaac with a shot! It's off target and by quite a way. Gaia. Thiago. Gaia. Thiago. Ferran Torres. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Crossfield changing the point of attack. And he's straight offside.
Sweden have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Hoists it forward. Rodri gets into the right position to intercept. Ferran Torres. Lustig. Lustig goes looking, dashing forward at pace. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Ekdal. Shoots! Oh, that's a waste. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. Gaia, forward it goes. Koke. And it's Gaia. Quick glance at goal. He came in hard, very hard. Spain are enjoying a good spell right now and leading. Ball's loose, who's getting there? He's gone for it! Oh, that is rather wayward. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Morata. Lindelof. With the slight tackle there. This has a hit! A real chance and a real let-off. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong may come right. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. OK. Has it out wide now. Ball is over the line. And it's Thiago. Tries a shot! OK. Ferran Torres tries to get it forward quickly. OK. Gaia. Now it's Morata. Ferran Torres. He's got for it! They've done it! A two-goal lead and they're firmly in control. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the train again because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled.
starting to look very comfortable. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. He gets past his man. Forsberg moves it over to the other flank. Koke. Ferran Torres. Morat. It's Morata! And that's it for the first half. A breathless ending. Spain produced a terrific spell at the end there, culminating in a chance that their fans could not believe. Gets things going for the second half. Forsberg, foot in. The referee's awarded a free kick. defending but that'll do and that's sprayed out wide good challenge he just stood firm surely he's left his man tries to get it forward quickly lustig oh that is asking for trouble and the counter is on. Going through. Oh, shooting chance! Lustig trying to get there. Kleisson. Jose Gaia. He's on a run down the left wing. Got a throw in. There to clear it. Isak. It's a loose ball. And that's been won straight back. And it's Koke. It's come loose. Thiago was not to be moved. The whisker away. <laughs> Forsberg. Attempts to play it through, looking for space out wide. Ektal gets it back, and now they can launch a counter. Rodri. And it's played forward, battles to win it back. Keeper sends it forward. Forsberg, across the field it goes. Is that a foul? Yes, the referee's given it. Keeper's ball. T 
Thiago. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Lustig with the crossfield ball. Forsberg. They've been denied a chance to develop any rhythm in the passing department. Back to the keeper and try something new. Koke. Well positioned to make that interception. Rodri brings the ball forward. Oh, it's Morata. It's Morata! Yes! And they are pulling clear here. And that is about as cool as they've come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. It was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Sweden have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Spain take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Just brushed off the ball there. Forsberg. Forsberg! Oh, the keeper's equal to it. Koke. Rodri. Thiago. Ferran Torres. Lustig drives it forward. And they've been caught out here. Swept in. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Gets it into the middle. And through to the goalkeeper. And that will be the final act. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, if ever there was a good tone setter for a football...